good morning ladies and gentlemen or maybe i should say good evening but it's morning uh, but that part that you're gonna look at is recorded uh, last night so i'm finishing the video but it's about um the acer iconia tablet i posted a little um post on youtube where i showed you a video that i was installing uh, windows 11 on that uh, on that tablet in fact it's it's one of my first tablets that got windows 11 and it actually booted and uh it installed so i'm gonna show you the result really fast it's playing tv uh, for me on the background at this moment it's doing pretty good so i don't know if i should advise it if you have this tablet the windows 7 tablet uh from iconia and you as well pushed in a ssd drive the way the previous owner did before he sold me this thing um then you can have a kind of yeah experience on it not everything is 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 very fluent but then again one gigahertz processor and two gigabytes ram you cannot expect too much from that let's be honest okay but still it's doing its best very very good it's not blowing all the time it's just working fine you know for an old tablet from 2005 i think this thing was is a iconia tab was very expensive tablet i got it with the box with all the cables with everything amazing guy on marketplace i got the while ago i, I made a review about this thing already i think i showed android 10 on it soon we're gonna install android no i don't want to install it i'm gonna leave the windows on it even though it's uh, not activated but it, yeah it's just so nice nice little windows you know uh, windows 11 tablet i mean like not everybody has a windows 11 tablet from 2015 with windows 11 on it look at that windows 11 setup on a tablet this is how it works. This is how it scrolls. So let's get Netherlands. Okay, now um, you can see that I cannot really tap the next button. Um, that is because the screen must be calibrated. All right, Windows 11 did not expect <laughs> this, this device. So certain things you can tap and certain things yeah you will be tapping even better if you calibrate the system now somewhere here you might get a, a error um just hit ignore or skip you know and then you will get to the set up part so uh, i'm gonna skip to there something went wrong try again That's what we did yesterday. Skip. By hitting skip, um, it will just continue and up here you can go ahead and do the rest whatever it's asking from you yeah you must give the answers yes and no uh did you uh, remember when we did this uh, on the uh, on the laptop in the previous video we had buttons that we should turn on and off and here we have tabs and you know why that is because the OS knows that this is a tablet, so it treats, uh, uh, yeah, it treats the environment kind of different. So uh, that's why we don't have these little buttons that we have to touch. But in fact, these, yeah, these big things that we can just tap to say yes and no. And now it's gonna set up. Uh, yeah, it will soon uh, boot into the desktop. Okay, and then the system will be installed and there we are wow <laughs> look at that peeps windows 11 installed on an old yeah old tablet acer iconia tablet don't try this on uh, uh devices with atom processors okay it won't work 
I have another tablet here, the ViewSonic ViewPad 10. That one, yeah, it just can't. It starts complaining after uh, we had to select uh, our key. But um, this one, as you can see, it boots up really nice. Everything works, the touch works nicely. Maybe here and there it must be calibrated a little bit, but um, it's not like laggy, tuk, 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 or so, nothing like that. So Microsoft got it really right uh, with Windows 11, even though they say, yeah, you need a good computer, you know. They, they have reasons for saying that, okay, but thanks to, yeah, smart people uh, we learned how we can you know still uh, install these builds uh, on on legacy devices that means devices with no uefi as you can see uh, i will not be able to activate the system so before connecting to the internet i'm starting to change my team wallpapers i can change with right mouse click that is not a problem but the team i will never ever be able to change anymore you know in a normal way um if i don't do it now so that's why i'm doing that now and now yeah the system is up and running and uh, yeah i can say to you you must go find out what you can do with the system i already know what i'm gonna do with it it's gonna play me tv and uh music and things like that and for the rest i'm just gonna you know discover it slowly because this is my first tablet with windows 11 and i'm very happy with it even though it's a 215 model uh, 2015 model um yeah i'm very happy with it you know because it works as you can see uh, this is something very special to see windows 11 on yeah on this old old tablet you know i mean like it's just it's just beautiful so if you still have one you know you can try it out um and and see if it uh, as well works for you uh, my wi-fi is working i can put in my wi-fi i can connect to the internet and uh, yeah soon the drivers uh, that are not installed such as uh, for instance the video driver um, must be updated and will be uh, i can tell you afterwards that all was updated by microsoft and the touch started working even better i i think i don't even have to calibrate it anymore it works fine you know i can touch almost everything but some things i just don't want to touch and then i'm using the mouse as you can see you know, because yeah, certain things, yeah, here uh, the drivers were not installed yet, the proper drivers. So the touch is not optimal, but it works, you know, it works kind of um, better than I thought that it would work. So I'm very happy about this installation. So that is it for uh, this tablet. I, um, yeah, I'm not going to give a demonstration of what, what it all can do and, and benchmarks and so that, that would be ridiculous, okay? Um, just find the best way for yourself. Oh yeah, I will as well go to advanced settings, right mouse click, uh, properties, and then uh, look for um, advanced, uh, advanced settings and make sure to in advanced settings set everything to uh, to best performance okay best performance um, and and then click okay and then you're gonna be good to go but for the rest everything works you see uh, um, the edge browser is opening really nice here you must wait for it to say um, finish uh, the setup okay because it's setting up the browser now so be patient don't start uh, doing all sorts of things just wait when you see something is busy let it finish the task because at the end you will be the winner and you're gonna have it working on the system okay my friends the next morning well uh the tablet is up and running ladies and gentlemen uh once in a while it can stock up and then i must start the stream again but that as well happens on this machine so yeah i'm not i'm not so very concerned about about that okay so um i can say yeah you can install windows 11 on the acer iconia Oh, wait, let me put some light on it there for you peeps. 
Because you can't read it. Oh, okay, I see it now. Acer Iconia Tap uh, brought this thing with me and uh, I let it play some video. Uh, it charged whole night long. As you can see, the charger is not connected. That's the charger there. And uh, yeah, the thing is just uh, playing and battery is uh, still looking pretty decent. It just went down some, yeah, a little bit, 25% or so. I think soon I will have to connect it again. But it works. Uh, it's not uh, the most uh, fantastic uh, option um, for this tablet, I think. I think, yeah, a nice, not too heavy Linux build would as well do. Would do better, I think. But I don't know. I must first make one. So I'm going to make a light version for me. But uh, peeps, this is it. Yeah, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> it's just fantastic to see yeah windows 10 on the i mean windows 10 box stop windows 10 is old we never use windows 10 here we're using windows 11 on this little tablet and uh yeah it's i'm not gonna go through all the specs and so but uh it works as you can see <laughs> i'm not activated i'm not removing that as well you know i'm not gonna do things to remove that that watermark I love that watermark, you know, it's remembering you that you're running an OS that in fact was not even made for this device and it still runs. So Microsoft, thank you so much for not, you know, uh, making the system stupid because it's not activated. Once in a while we get a little pop up, you are not activated. Why not activate? Uh, I would love to activate this uh, Microsoft, but I don't know how. I only have a Windows 7 license for this thing. Uh, official license, of course, but of course. There it is. What is it saying? XP or 7? 7. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. No, XP uh, processor would not be able to run this. Because the below laptop that you see there, that's a HP uh, as well. One of the three that I got. Um, yeah, that one uh, cannot even boot this OS, okay? So, yeah, the bare minimum, I think, is this, what you're looking at, Acer Iconia, you know, um, one gigahertz processor, two gigabytes RAM, and uh, yeah, that's it, peeps, really. I cannot make it even more nice for you. If you have this, this tablet, and you want to use it beside your other computer uh, while it's you know playing uh, playing some some tv for you some news that is amazing you can uh yeah what can i say you can <laughs> you can watch tv with it you can listen to the radio with it uh i think you can do other tasks as well but you know my i'm a multimedia guy so uh, for me important is that uh computer can play music and that it can play video and I can do that since Windows 1995 okay <laughs> I wanted to say 1995 but it's Windows 95 because uh, when we well in fact in Windows 3.11 we already had multimedia you know we could uh, we could we could read a CD in wave uh, format to the computer and we could then burn it to a CD, you know, uh, we could play VCDs. So in my Linux distros, I always have a VCD codec as well available for old schoolers that still have a bunch of uh, VCDs. So these things you can all do with, with, with you know, an old computer. Old computers to me, um, yeah, they are only old if they cannot play music and if they cannot play video at all. You know, if they can play video, uh, via uh, some old codec, uh, let's say uh, VCD and PEG1, you know, that's as well good to me. As long if it can play video and entertain people. That is for me a computer, you know, a computer is not only to, to do serious things, a computer is as well to relax yourself. And uh, I must say that, that with this uh, Acer Iconia tablet, we have that, you know, uh, I, I have touch, although I must, uh, I think, even do a bit better. 
calibrating. I'm not sure. Sometimes I click on things and it's not, you know. So yeah. But this is it. I'm 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 happy. I'm happy. Acer Iconia Tap. Um, 2015 model i think it was came with windows 7 is compatible with windows 11 uh, but only with with the uh, legacy bias build the one that we had to you know put together ourselves thanks to amazing people out there that taught us how to do so and um, yeah big credits goes to them for this what you see you know, um, and of course to Microsoft, even though Microsoft didn't want this, uh, this OS to run on all the machines, I think it's as well nice for Microsoft to see that this OS that they released is as well, you know, in a way compatible with all the devices. I think, yeah, if you are the father of an OS and you see that happening on an old machine, you'll be shaking your head and, and you you will get a smile on your face and say wow still nice that this os can do that uh, you know and uh, i hope that um, it will stay this way that microsoft will not uh, yeah change things around so that won't be possible anymore etc today i'm gonna work on a new light build but then on the last build that microsoft uh, released the one that you can download from the website so that all we're gonna take a look in um, at in my other video but for now I want to say this project was successful that was it my friends have a very beautiful day uh, greetings to your family you know stay good with your family and yourself as well and if, if you have no family don't worry I'm your family okay my friends bye bye <music> Oh,